I'm Tala Jordan. I'm 22 years old and I'm a Muslim living in Sydney. Being a Muslim, basically, um, especially wearing the scarf in Sydney, um, makes people automatically um, start questioning <laughs> and have like specific questions um, and they expect me to address it just by wearing the scarf, um, for example, um, like students come to me and say, I'm really sorry, I'm, I'm really shy to ask you this, but do you shower? <laughs> do you shower wearing the scarf? Do you sleep with it? Like, how often do you wear it? And what's the pur purpose of wearing it? And um, when it's really hot, for example, oh my God, it's so hot so hard I can't mm. imagine like how you're dealing with it but that's fine because you're muslim and you have to do it yeah and like directly or indirectly trying to remind me that um you're not part of us or or trying to to make me not part of this society and i was on the train so public transport with my little sister and one old lady she came right in front of me and she started asking. She was like, um, do you ever, oh, it's a very hot, a very sunny day. Do you swim? I was like, yeah, of course I do. I was like, but how would you swim with the headscarf on? It's like, you know, there's specific, like there are swimming pool for girls only. You know, the gyms have swimming pool sometimes. And she was like, I don't get it. Is it like so hard on you? Do you shower on it? Do you sleep with it? And she started questioning. So all that questions, my little sister, when we walked in, in the shopping center, she was like, why, why, um, why were we so different? She had that question. It was like so sad looking to my little sister asking me that question. Why we're different? I think there are a lot of people that are educated enough and I think they can see or they can relate to like what's happening is stereotyping by the media and it's not right especially like the high level educated people um, and uh, like some of the people they started to search about it with that specific um, like you know what happened in the media and everything people start to think about it and people start to Pause for a second, take their time, and be like, you know what? This is worth knowing about. And I think there's, um, there are minority. I just call it, I told you I'm a very positive person, and I just call it minority. And I'd like to think about it as ignorant people, or people with less, the less educated, or people that they never had a neighbor, a Muslim neighbor, that didn't have a friend they didn't just all what they saw is from the media like talking and breaking that yeah. very negative energy would really help i had a lot of people change their their whole idea about islam only by talking to me and i'm saying like oh i'm a perfect person no i'm a very average muslim girl that i'm not even so high educated in islam like i'm still into that and then when I just explain like little things and just try to know them, try to be more educated about it, um, just try to think of Muslim. If you were on their situation, how would you be treated? Don't ever be afraid to um, talk to Muslims. Don't have that um, thinking that they will reject talking to you or they, they're so mean or they don't want to talk about it. They, they do not want to be isolated. They, they're just part of your, the community like any others. And if you try, like other people try, then the, like we're really good friends now. And it's end up having like friends, like uni friends <laughs> with my Muslims and with my African, with my all the international and local people which like make us, which makes um, Australia to begin with, that it's very, both very um, diverse and multicultural, which is 
make it really unique and lovely country to live in.